Hello guys and welcome back to another Ripple News update. Now today we have Ripple News updates for you and more news as well, but also we we do have XRP price analysis and prediction. And uh just for a start, we will look at the XRP price analysis for you. And when it comes to the XRP, of course, as we have been seeing, XRP is the had been the uh, had been on a on a on a, on a correction and it has been experiencing some pullback in a couple of hours ago with its price going as far down as 4% but yet XRP is yet to decide its next move so far as we've seen and of course sideways trading might actually prevail for for some time and for that reason as we've always been saying the support level will be at the $1.70 and the $1.75 and uh, this is because of the magnet for buyers in the short term currently as we're speaking the price of xrp is a buck 82 and uh, it is up five percent in the day and 77 percent in the week now more on this prediction will be coming your way in the end of this video but first let's look at um, the news concerning xrp and in today's news, the Ripple CTO has been actually cashing out his Bitcoin holdings with almost none left in his wallet. Now, the Ripple CTO, as you all know, Mr. David Schwartz, uh, has shared his story of withdrawing profits from his Bitcoin holdings with only 2% of the Bitcoins left in his wallet. And in the course of one of his regular chats, with the XRP community on Twitter, the current Ripple Chief Technology Officer David Schwartz, and as you all know, he has taken over from the former uh, Ripple CTO and co-founder Jade McCullough. Well, David Schwartz has told the story of how he withdrew and cashed out almost all of his Bitcoins as the world's flagship currency has been printing new highs since 2010. Now, uh, David Schwartz, who's the current Ripple CTO, as I said, has tweeted that he has been taking profits from his Bitcoin holdings since Bitcoin first rose to the $100, level, uh, $100 level and then continued to spike, hitting new all-time highs of $250, then $750, and now finally it is $63,000 US dollars per coin. And of course, he ha as I said, he has been buying. He has he first bought it at the one hundred dollar level, so you can imagine uh, imagine buying Bitcoin at one hundred dollars for one Bitcoin. I would have, um, and uh, imagine um, investing as much as if you if you had invested as much as one thousand, you would have ten uh, Bitcoins and. Uh, that means you would uh, be worth 630,000. Now add that to another zero, you will be a billionaire, definitely. But um, uh, back to the story, talking with an XRP fan who goes under the Twitter name Mark Attack XRP, David Schwartz shared that he had used a similar strategy of withdrawing part of his profits made from Bitcoin's rise. And of course, by now, the Ripple CTO tweeted he has only around 2% of his initial Bitcoin stash left. And apparently, he also sold some of his Bitcoins back in 2017 when Bitcoin hit a 20,000 all-time high. So yeah, he, he's selling his coins and that is why... Um, he has been left with only 2% of his stash. Now, also, as we reported earlier this year, the Ripple Chief Technology Officer shared which cryptocurrencies make up his portfolio. And of course, aside from uh, the King Crypto Bitcoin and his first and his first choice XRP and his first choice xrp david schwartz holds as well ethereum
David Schwartz, David Schwartz holds also Ethereum, Ada Cardano, he has BAT, Stellar XLM, EOS, Bitcoin Gold, Polymath, and a few other minor cryptocurrencies in his portfolio. Now, back in January, Schwartz also tweeted that Bitcoin and XRP constituted, uh, constituted sorry, the largest part of his crypto portfolio and uh, these other minor cryptocurrencies only held a small chunk of his portfolio. Now, looking at Bitcoin as well, after hitting 64,000 on Wednesday, uh, Bitcoin went down to the 61,000 level on the same day. And of course, as, the time, as of the time of me making this video, it's actually changing hands at 62K, around 62K. And of course, the main catalyst for Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies hitting new all-time highs over the past several days has obviously been the Coinbase crypto giant going public via a direct listing on the Nasdaq. Now back to the XRP price prediction. As I've been saying, my price predictions for this week is that I did expect uh, XRP to hit $2 uh, uh, this week and it actually did, but I also expected it to go past that and uh, create a new support level at the um, two dollars level but uh, we saw a pullback and a correction happening in the past uh, 24 hours to 48 hours and of course this is mainly from uh, some of the buyers mainly retail investors cashing in some of their profits since we've reached a very huge milestone in the two dollars level so we've seen some of them cashing out which is fine it happens to the best of them and we also do see this happen a lot especially in this crypto uh, currencies but uh, my stance still stands I do believe that two dollar levels will be surpassed fully by the end of this week uh, as far as uh, Sunday we will have to wait and see if that happens and once that does I do expect the XRP coin to stabilize and hold a new um, support level at the two dollars level or just below that maybe the buck 90 level or a buck 85 cents level and uh, once that happens we are on our way to the three dollar um, target which I think and I do believe that it will be reached by the end of April Now, five dollars is too far-fetched the only way I'm seeing that happen is when we reach May when we will be getting very crucial information in the Ripple XRP court case and once that information comes out and I do believe it's going to favor XRP then the 2007 bull run replica will have its launch and from there on it's to the moon so that's what I do believe is going to happen so um, let me know what you think where is the uh, uh, predictions that you have for XRP and until the next update bye, -bye.